We're also finding the general term or formula for a sub n for the geometric sequence a sub six equals seven and a sub nine equals 189. In this video, we will show the method of using a system of equations to determine the formula for a sub n. I have a different video that shows a second method. Notice how to find the formula for a sub n, we have to find a sub one, the first term, as well as r, the common ratio. In this case, we don't have either, and therefore, we'll set up a system of equations to solve for both a sub one and r. So using the formula a sub n equals a sub one times r raised to the power of n minus one, if we use a sub six equals seven, we can substitute seven for a sub n and six for n. This gives us the equation seven equals a sub one times r raised to the power of six minus one, which is equal to five. And now using a sub nine equals 189, we can substitute 189 for a sub n and nine for n. This gives us the equation 189 is equal to a sub one times r raised to the power of nine minus one, which is eight. And now let's use the method of substitution to solve this system. Let's solve this first equation for a sub n by dividing both sides of the equation by r to the fifth. If we divide both sides of the equation by r to the fifth, we have a sub one is equal to seven divided by r to the fifth. And now that we have a sub one is equal to seven divided by r to the fifth, we can substitute seven divided by r to the fifth for a sub one in the second equation. So performing the substitution gives us the equation 189 equals seven divided by r to the fifth times r to the eighth, which I write as r to the eighth over one. And now let's simplify. Notice the numerator and denominator share five factors of r in common r to the fifth simplifies to one, r to the eighth simplifies to r to the third, which gives us the equation 189 equals seven r to the third. And now to solve for r, we divide both sides by seven. Simplifying, we have r cubed equals 27. To solve for r, we need to undo the cubing by taking the cube root of both sides or raising both sides to the one third power. Let's take the cube root of both sides. The cube root of r cubed is r, and the cube root of 27 is equal to three. So now we know r is equal to three, so we can go back up to the original equation here and replace r with three. So now we know that a sub n is equal to a sub one times three raised to the power of n minus one, and now we can determine a sub one by either using a sub six or a sub nine. Let's go ahead and use a sub six. So we'll substitute seven for a sub n and six for n. This gives us seven equals a sub one times three raised to the power of six minus one, which is three to the fifth. To solve for a sub one, we divide both sides by three to the fifth. Simplifying on the right, Three to the fifth divided by itself simplifies to one, giving us a sub one equals seven divided by three to the fifth, which is seven divided by 243. Now that we have a sub one, we have the general term or the formula for a sub n. We now know that a sub n is equal to a sub one, which we just found as seven divided by 243 times r raised to the power of n minus one and we know r is three, and therefore we have times three raised to the power of n minus one. I hope you found this helpful.